Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to some more Banjo Kazooie Randomizer. I did a stupid last time when I ended the last video. As I was collecting the notes again because I stupidly reset it again, then save stated. The reason why we're right here is I'm back here where Eerie is. You see the number of jiggies I have. That's how many I ended on the last video. Guess what? It's here again. The same Jiggy is here again for some reason. I don't know why. But here it is. If we collect this, it's going to go up to 26. So basically, we collected that same Jiggy twice. Already done. Wow. Okay. I just wanted to show you that. That was weird. I don't know why. Usually when you get the Jiggy, it doesn't show up again. And it's not like things didn't save in the last video. It did. Eerie was already hatched. And he's sleeping. And when we go back to summer, I already have collected a couple worms. He's looking to get five of them. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get back up to uh, wise where I left off in the last video with 23 notes and we'll go from there, so be right back. So now we can actually go and finish collecting the worms for Eerie. Those beta bees need to get a lot. Ooh, Mumble Token, don't mind if I do. Even though technically I don't need that, but... la di da what are you gonna do? Okay. Let's head into Mumbo's skull in summer and see what happens. There's another note, I'll collect that. Yeah. Collect that worm. We only need five, I'm not gonna over collect on the worms. Although it would carry over into fall, so. And apparently this is back in good old Rusty Bucket. Full nab nut. I'm not eating too many acorns. I got none left for next winter now. Well, booty who? What? You shouldn't have eaten all those nuts in one sitting. Oh my god. What am I saying? <laughs> Acorn. Okay. I've already hit the fall. You know what? That bull can go F himself. Seriously! Okay, I'm not collecting the notes anymore. Screw that. Do I... It doesn't even tell you if you have the worms. So I gotta recollect those, I guess. Yeah. I'm not gonna collect the notes again because I don't really have every move yet. And I'm pretty sure the line is needed. Yeah, especially in winter. So I'm not gonna bother collecting the notes again. Don't wanna fall off again because that is stupid. I mean, you could save yourself a little bit by fluttering in midair while you're falling, but if once Benjo does the flips going down, there's no coming back from that, so. What is that sound from again? Don't! I wonder if that sound is from collecting something. I think it is, but I can't remember what it's for. Also, beehive. Let's go in there. Oh, this is normal. There's that. I don't have the Wonder Wing yet, but I can just pet them. Even though technically we can, we should be touching it, but he's, he's not getting it, so. Hey! Oh, it's the dragonflies.
Ow. One more. There you go. He's beating us. Oh well, we were getting bored of guarding it anyway. That's just kind of the bees we are. Four again. We have 27 total. The numbers are all messed up here. Now we actually have four for Click Lock Wood. I have to go in here. This one goes... Oh, here we go. Okay. So kind of the same as the Spring Warp Spot. At least that one is, anyway. Okay, now we got five. Is it actually five for Click Lock? Nope. Okay, for the other worlds, some, somehow gotten in here instead of staying over there. Got another life. I had nine lives when we last finished the video. So I had to collect them again, but... Oh my god, will you actually get up there, you fat banjo? That... Nothing up there. Wow, what a waste of time. Woo. There was a pink ginger up there in the spring. Oh, oh now you actually get out of here. Really? There was an empty honeycomb there. Is there anything there this time? No. Well. La di da. Okay, how about... We're done in summer, technically. Although I do want to check out another place, so let's go again up there and see what we can do. Let's go out here. Not where I wanted to be, but we'll deal with it. Okay, I can't go in there. Although we can technically go in there as the bee, because there's no tra deep, deep transformation. So the bee can technically come into the other seasons and... Stupid. Banjo, you stupid, stupid man. Okay, screw this level. <laughs> I could have just gone in the fall, but who cares? Let's just go to another level. We've been in Click Lock for long enough. Come on. Okay. The game didn't crash when we come here. came here, though, unlike another level. I, I feel like if Click Lock shows up at Mumbo's Mountain and you exit out of that world instead of out of Mumbo Mountain, Mumbo's Mountain, then the game will crash. But if, the, if Click Lock Wood is in a later level, at least level two onwards, then it won't crash, I think. I don't know. I was about to go over there and hit that Jiggy Swish, but the level's already open. So we don't need to do that. So let's go in Gobi's Valley. We do have a move in here that we need to get. If you don't have Talent Trot or the Running Shoes, then you can't technically do this level because you need one of them to get up that hill because Banjo can't do that otherwise even though he has claws and can technically claw his way up there but he can't so mm. alright I don't have the flying move I do, do I have the beat bomb and the enemies are tiny in this world that's nice I don't know if I have the big bomb, but I do have... I don't have the flying. So... I can't do that yet. But I do have eggs, and I do have big busters. So I can technically do some things here. Including getting that move from bottles. Yeet! Alright. Got that. Yeet! I said... Yeet! That's what he sounds like. Ah, that cleared Xenixie's nose. Come on in. Where are we gonna go? Nobody knows. 
Okay, there is a Jiggy here, so that's good. I was afraid we were gonna be soft locked, but the include potential soft locks is not checked when uh, in the program of programming the seed, so thankfully there is a Jiggy. I've learned that especially the grunty statue in between Bubble Blue Swamp and Gobi's Valley areas where you would go into a pot in the Gobi Valley area and then come out at, at the top of the statue, go down and get the Jiggy behind the little jail cell. If you hit the Jiggy, the jail cell will open. But if it's not a Jiggy and it's a Mumbo Token or an Empty Hennicorn, the gate will not open. Same as here. If it's nothing other than, if it's something other than a Jiggy, the door won't open, so. Just be wary of that. Thankfully it's a Jiggy, so the door will open. If it was not, then yeah, we would have been screwed. And we would have been, become a mummy like the gin uh, Jinjos. Hey, I'm the Honeycomb. I can collect that when we a while actually. The warp, warp shall randomize, so technically we're not going to exit out of there. Or will we? Nope. Um. Okay. In a big. Okay. <laughs> we go out of here. We come out of the invisible pyramid. We can go into the invisible pyramid, but we'll go back to the same area. So. Okay. So apparently, an in invisible pyramid is up. So. You gotta, it's a wide loading zone. What if I go over here? Go around and maybe go in the back? Can I go in the back? No, okay. Go away. Wow, he didn't notice me. Wow, I was right in front of him and he didn't notice me. He didn't go, eh, woo. All right, I hear lightning. Well, that's spooky. We are in the grand, the final battle area with Grunty. Only we're in a desert. So I guess the lightning sky has traveled to this area. Well, how do you like that? I'm not gonna collect the Jinjos. I do need the flying move and the big bomb because there is a warp that we technically may not be able to go into until we get those flying moves. Okay, this is vanilla. And this is a regular honeycomb hive. How nice. I feel the most annoying enemy that can show up in here is the bull. And that is major BS because you can't really kill the bull, so. All right. Pink, yellow. It is randomized, so what we have to mash is not the pixels or the actual icons. What we have to mash are the colors. So there's two reds. We have a green right there. That that is green. Okay. A white, white up here. No. That is pink, which means what? Well, nope. Wrong one. There is white, but here's the pink, and down at the other corner is the other pink. The colors will be randomized as well. The colors will not be in the same exact locations either. So that's something. <coughs> I did not. Ye yellow there, black, and black. Blue, nope, cyan, and cyan. Blue, and blue, blue. And there we go. Woo. All right. Okay. We have four health, but I'll collect this anyway because we're not going to be coming back in here. Even though we will hear that stupid magic carpet again going down, down, down. Even though... I wish it was a different sound, but at least it's not as annoying as some of the other sounds. 
because oh, because there are going sounds that you can actually put in the game and those include gingernado sounds and the barbecue sounds in the uh, barbecue cutscene after you uh, defeat Grunty in the furnace fun for the first time. However, um, one of the barbecue sounds is it loops and it really gets jarring, hence the category name, John. And if you, like in one of the previous seeds that I was testing out, picking up a honeycomb, regular honeycomb for energy, it was one of the looping um, barbecue sounds, and yeah, it just kept on going, it never stopped. And this was in the Spiral Mountain area, so yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I knew I couldn't do that seed because it would be really annoying having to enter a lot of warp zones just to cancel the sound, if it even would cancel it, so I'm not going to do that. I do have it on the video, so after this little cutscene, I'll showcase that little clip. Here it is. Yeah! You notice how annoying that was? If I was actually playing that seed for you guys, you would be annoyed <laughs> to hell and back after that. So no way in hell I was gonna do that. So... You never know what sounds or, or sound effects are gonna be randomized to different things in the game. You can't really pick and choose what things have which music and sound effects, so you, you kind of have to go into a blind, which for a first time playthrough, that's really nice. And you can keep randomizing the feed every time, and it'll be different every time as well. So each playthrough would be like a brand new one. And I don't know why I'm doing, being up there, I've already cleared the nose and that influence takes me elsewhere, so. This entrance I need the flying and beak bomb for, but I can't go in there. So, that's unfortunate. With the, yep, there's a jiggy down here, so let's get that while we're here. We, we only need 64 jiggies total, and we have 33 there. But in terms of the actual totals, we have 31. I don't really know how that works. I guess a couple of the jiggies, well, we know one for sure, unless you guys know the other one, are duplicate jiggies. And that's probably why we have more in the part screen than the actual total. So, uh, I'm gonna turn down my volume a little bit, my god. Okay, we don't have the shoes yet. So, we, I can't go up there, but we can go and get the move. I didn't want to activate it. And the, the, the little uh, clock, hourglass right there, not clock, hourglass. It's the beta timer hourglass, so that's nice. Woo -hoo. Ho -ho. There we go, we got... We got the Wonder Wing, okay. We don't need to listen to the rest of that. Alright, what's the music for this? Huh. Mumbo Skull. Not what I would have picked, but okay. It's relaxing. 
relaxing wonder -wing. Who would have thought? We can't do anything else because the flying and the big bomb is what I need in order to get into Ruby's place or if it even is Ruby's warp unless it takes me into um, Jinx, Jinxie. So, we already saw you in Crooklog, dude. They just duplicated you. Your clone, if you will. Ho! Oh. I didn't want to do that. I was going to jump to the hill, but no, because you decided to <sighs> fall down. Not my fault. That was Kazooie. She did it, not me. I don't know what you're talking about. Woo! Okay, well, what world would this be? Mad Monster or Rusty Packet? Or, ooh, Mad Monster, okay. We do have the waiting boots. Where did we get the waiting boots again? Yeah, inside Clunker. Ridiculous. All right, let's go to Mad Monster. Okay, dokie. What music is this again? I heard it somewhere. Click lock, obviously. Yeah, I know my music, come on. Ah! Go away, stupid. Wow, they got another one. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. There you go, how do you like that? How do you like it when you fall out of existence? Woo! Can't get that empty honeycomb piece. Oh, get it now, you stupid, stupid. Well, I can actually kill them now because I have the Wonder Wing, so. Okay, what's down here? Ooh, Jiggy. Cool, I'll take it. If you can touch it, Banjo. There you go. There's a lot of notes in here. Ooh, we have another Jiggy. I'll take it. Well, don't get hit. Should I collect all the notes, though? Because I still don't have the running shoes, so I can't get into the church unless another warp takes me in there. Hmm. If I can get into a couple areas, then I'll think about clearing the level 100%. But if not, if we can't get into the church, then I'll just come back when we get the running shoes. So. Okay, I could go in there, or... Well, I have talent drop, so I can just come back whenever. So let's go in here and see where we go. Ah, into the secret room. We got the chompers, grill chompers. And we got two of those that'll be the bones. Yep. I'll collect the Jinjo at least. I'm not going to collect all the notes yet. Until I'm sure that we're gonna get into the search. But I'll collect the Jinjos just in case. They appear all on the outside. And unfortunately I can't get that because if we go along the floor, he's gonna wake up and we can't get the Jiggy shelf. We're gonna have to come back when we enter from the chimney. Fireplace. La di da. Okay, let's go in here. The beta bees need to F off for sure. Okay, we have the ice cube in here. He's not as annoying as the floatsum, but there's nothing else in here other than the notes, so we can come back later if we have to collect them. And here's Mumbo! There we go. Another gold feather. We're gonna keep collecting a lot of them. Even though we already reached the max red feathers, which kind of sucks, but... Oh well. Ooh, we got a big guy here. Ow! Hey, big guy. Well, small guy, rather than regular guy. Come on, let me kill you. Thank you. Okay, is that everything? It is. And Trigger Troll is playing. Alrighty, cool. Okay. Where does this take me? Right there. And if you turn around immediately, you can get inside. 
What was that? Blink and you miss it. Something fell inside the organ. What the hell? I don't know what that was, but oh boy, he must be a big enemy. I don't know who exactly it was, but oh what? Is the Jinjo on one of these? No. We can't even go up there because we don't have the flying moves, so... Yeah, I think it's gonna be a waste of time to collect the notes and everything. Although, we're gonna have to collect this one, unless I can get up there without having to touch it. Can I get up there without touching it, though? Is the question. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so close. I guess we'll collect one, well, technically two. I don't know what other one I touched, but... Oh, well. Okay. We can get this Yegi here, so let's do this. Marchan plays his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? Certainly. And if you also randomized, so he'll play a different... I messed up. I messed up again. I am so good, am I? Oh, you can also hit the key with, before he does. So, I don't know how many people will actually know that, but you can hit the note before he does if you hit the right one. Well, you're going right here, wow. Copy this soon and amazed I'll be. Now that was only three notes that time, wow. Your music skills are mighty fine. So take this golden piece of mine. Gladly. Whew. I'll gladly take that shiny piece. Hey, Mr. Cube. Hey, you know how you doing? Let me collect you. You're blue with a bit of pink. That looks weird. Okay. It looks like the flying pad is available though. Because at times in the later levels, the sock jump pad will be available, like in Clunker's Cavern, if you don't have the move yet from bottles. So uh, in this case, the flying pad is available. So, huh. That is weird. We don't have Beak Bomb though, so. Hey! Give me the jiggy. Give me the jiggy. There you go. I'll hit this as well since we're here. And almost missed, but I didn't. Okay. Now, I guess I can collect the notes now because... There's twins. One big, one small, I guess. Big brother, little brother. But since they're stuck in the wall, they're not gonna hurt us, so you don't have to worry about that. But I will start collecting the notes again, if you will go straight, Banjo. There's a mumbo token here. There's probably a note over there, yep. All right, let's stay straight and collect this. And then immediately turn straight back. Okay. I will collect these. Yep, the beta bees will go in a uh, go and attack you. So run away from them unless you want to waste some feathers, which I guess you could technically. Okay, that's how you can safely get down without taking damage. And we're gonna collect all the notes because I can get into every room now so it's not like there's nothing blocking us from getting everything now so we can get in the church so if a warp takes you out of the church just immediately turn around and you can go in 
but if you walk away from the church, then you you can't go back in. Then you can't go in. So immediately turn around if you can. Well, you can, but like I just did. So it's not impossible to get in here if you don't have the shoes. That guy is huge. Whew. Take that. And that's all the notes in here. Now there is. Okay. Now we can exit out of here and go in Lago's bathroom. Damn. Out of the cellar. Oh well. Yeah, and I s now we're in Lago. <laughs> hey, Mr. Honeyhide Ripper. Three notes in here, gladly we'll take that. Hey, Logo. Who's Mumbo? There is much too fat to fit in Logo's mouth. Nasty. Okay. We're gonna exit out of there and never speak of that again. And... Did I go in here or here? I guess we'll go in here. See what's up. Oh, God, no, you are not- Ow. Mean. You are so mean. I somehow got him, even though he went back in the painting. Wow. God skills. Woo, nothing over here. Is there an enemy? No, that's the floatrim enemy. Okay. Okay, we got everything here. Okay. I guess I can go back in here now because we will have we will be collecting all the notes, so there's no notes in here though. And my stomach is gonna start grumbling again soon because I haven't eaten yet. Stop Attacking me. You know what? There. Now we don't have to worry about those idiots anymore, but we do have some more on this side over here, so before getting them, well, no, it's just that guy. Come at me, bro. Not you guys. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Come over here. There you go. Die. Die to Mumbo's theme. Oh, the sky looks a bit bright in this one. Okay, which sky would this be though? It's either Treasure Trove, Spiral Mountain, or... I'm not too sure which one it could be. It's one of those two. It's not Hammerhead Beach, cause that's in Mumbo's a mountain. Because we already found that out at the first level. Which was Sparrow Ma uh, Mumbo's Mountain. Let me get the notes while I can. You can hold L or R to circle turn banjo. Whoop. Let's not hit any of the whiplashes. Is there anything over here? Mm, nope, okay. I got them all, let's get out of here. We can't go in that little tiny um, exit out of there un unless we're the pumpkin, so. Whew. I'm guessing maybe Treasure Trove. Maybe with the no. The music is random. I was gonna say maybe the music will match the skybox, but that's not a thing. Also, this jiggy's gone. But this jiggy, no! apparently we collected in another level, cause now it's not here, so. I didn't want to go in there. Although we kind of had to because we're right here. Uh, 
There we go. I wonder if we're gonna be getting 89 notes again while we're here. Because when I got 89 notes in Mumbo's Mountain and Clanker's Cavern, it was 89. So, it could be the same here. And be 90 notes in a couple levels to reach 817. So, ah, I got an empty honeycomb right there. Nice. Let's go in there and come out in here. Okay. Any notes? Yep. And we do have the waiting boots, so that would help. First, I'm gonna break this gate. And... Well... Hmm. Can we actually jump up onto the platforms while in the waiting boots? Well, this is Mad Monster Music while we're in the waiting boots. Don't know how that's a thing, but it is, and we can't jump up there. So, we'll have to jump. Woo! Whoop! Oh! Lose some more health, why don't you? That's fine though, we can just get more health from this guy. Well, one there. There's a Jiggy right there. Ow! Will you stop? Oh my god! Will you actually do the rat pat rap when I tell you to? I hit X for B, and it's like Benjo doesn't want to do the move. So I end up getting hit by the stinking uh, ice cube more times than I want. And there's a ginger up there. Okay. I'm gonna get the jiggy first. Okay, that works. We'll go up and get this guy. There's two more gingers left. Do you think that we we, we didn't get the flying move yet, but it allowed us to have it in that church room. Do you think the same would be said for the shoes? No. Okay. So much for that. But we got in the church anyway, so we're good on that. Did we get three empty honeycombs in this world? No. Th yeah, there's another one that we need the pumpkin for. So we technically got three in this world, even though one was technically for a different world. Wow, go figure. Woo! We've already been in there, don't need to go in there now. We will get that guy. And I wanna, what? I wanna collect that. I want the notes and I want them now. Okay, before we go in the chimney, see where that goes, let's go in here first. And this is the solo. Alrighty. The beta bees are likely in here. Nope, it's this guy. Can I kill him? No. Oh, it's just the bat. Well, that makes sense. Even though he shouldn't even be breathing underground like that, but... Hey! Easy enemy to kill, no bees. We're good. This is the good life. Woo! And it's always a good life when we get to listen to Treasure Trove music. Woo! Nothing in there. Hey, last in go. And there's a note there, but no, nothing in these for some reason, don't know why. And we can't get into there unless we enter the code on the sandcastle floor. So, I don't know if we'll be collecting any of those stop and swap eggs. If we want to, just let me know and I can do that at the end. 
Will you get up there, you stupid, stupid man? This guy does not know how to get up there. Oh my god, I almost got hit by that guy. He would have had to go to jail for hitting me if he did. <laughs> Is this vanilla or nope? It goes to the bedroom. Extra life. Feather behind the chest. Nope. Mm. Oh. Woo. Almost got hit by that guy. He showed up out of nowhere. And that's it in this room. Wow. We're gonna fall into the... Chimney eventually. Maybe the entrance into this little uh, shed here would be the entrance that takes us to the fireplace? Nope. Goes to Mumble of all people. Of all places. Which I, which I guess is fine now we know where Mumble is. What entrance did we go in again? Okay, it's the little shed. Okay, and this one will go here. Okay, I'll take that. Even though we don't technically need any more mumbo tokens, I'm gonna collect them all anyway. Well, not every single one of them, but should be mad now it's gone. Yes, I mark my boot out put up your useless spooky boy. It's actually butt, but she said put, so unless she actually meant putt, my boot out putt. That doesn't really sound right, but okay. And I need the flying pad, which I do have in this world for some reason, even though we don't technically, technically have it yet. It is great listening to all the Trigger Troll music though. Making Mad Monster not so spooky to go through. Oh, I was about to say, don't be a broken... Uh, warp, but we have gone through it earlier, so there we go. We will have to go heal the pumpkin soon. We okay, 69 notes, not too shabby. Okay, let's go in here. There are notes in here, that's good. How many of you are gonna bet that we're gonna get 89 or 90 notes? in this world. I'm gonna go with 89. We'll see though. Woo! First time a Jiggy has showed up in the maze, that's not a Jinjo. Go away beta bees, nobody likes you. I guess I could get rid of the bees, but that'd be wasting all the gold feathers I have. Well, not really, but, you know. And with Talon Trot, you can easily go past without getting hit. Mumbo token over there. Sometimes it was either a Jiggy or Empty Honeycomb in that spot, but... This time it's a it's a mumbo token. Cool. Okay, where have I not gone yet? I could change into the pumpkin, but I kind of don't want to do that just yet. I want to collect all the notes first, 
Cause if you die, it's not like Banjo Tooie where the notes will save, or the Xbox Live version of Banjo Kazooie that the notes will save. If you die, you collect the notes again. We know this, cause it happened in Clock Clock Wood a couple times. So. Alright. Two more, and then we'll get another Jiggy, unless a Mumble token pops out of it. Which hopefully doesn't happen, but you never know. I don't want to yeet, I want to... I want to vomit an egg out of my, my butt. <laughs> Woo, there you go. Nine so far, what do we got? Six. And five in Click Clock. Click Clock. Seven in Gobi Valley. One in Freezy V. None in Bubble Group still. Nine in Clankers Cavern. So one of the jiggies we got was one for that. Four for Mumbo, three for Guantola, okay. And three for, oh, one of the Honeycomb for that. But that's nice. 40, 362 notes. We got a long way to go for the notes, wow. We're still too behind the jiggy count there, but I guess it happened because of the duplicate jiggy, so. What is going on there? If you zoom in, it's normal, but it, if you zoom out, it's the skybox. Huh. Weird. I hope that's not something that would cause the pumpkin to fall out of the map. That would suck. Another mum. There's nothing here. Huh, that mumbo token went somewhere else for once. You're an enemy! I could just do this. Screw you, beta bees. You suck. Okay, what haven't I been in yet? I haven't gone into the well yet. So yeah, let's do that while we're here. And then after that, have I gone in mum- Yeah, I have. I've gone in Mumbo's skull. And that took me somewhere else. With this- Okay, this takes us here. Feather, don't need it. Nope. 78. Ten more notes, but where are they? Greetings, oh solid one! I'm Tumblr, who cares? I guess we all care because you are a friendly character to us, so there we go. Banjo! Okay. We got loads of time here. We got great music. We got a green teehee instead of a purple teehee. All is right in the world. We even got a spooky beta timer instead of Grunty's ugly mug. Wait, this is click clock music. <laughs> oh wait, do I have message? I do not. And we got all ten jiggy. Nice. Nope. Okay, we can exit out of here. Where would this take us though? Maybe out of hmm. Good that it took us out of there. I was hoping that it wasn't gonna put us down and heal. Cause if it did, then we would be soft locked. But thankfully, 
potential soft locks are not on, so that wouldn't happen to poor old us. So yeah. Now which one? Okay. I guess we can go turn into the pumpkin now because we got all. Nope. I haven't been on the roof of this building yet. So surely we're gonna get eight of these notes. No. Only four. Okay, what a whip off. So there's seven or eight notes somewhere that we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Okay. I got everything up there. Alright, let's check this out. 25! I guess this is technically... No, it's not. Huh. Weird. Okay, how long has it been? Because I'm pretty sure I recorded for an hour at least, but... We should still be okay for a bit longer. I'll stop the recording after I get the rest of the notes. Although now we gotta find out which one would take us into the other rooms. But let's go in here first since we're up here. Okay, there we go. We got one, two, three notes in here. Nope, two. 84. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so that pipe is normal. I believe the entrance to the empty honeycomb piece will be in here. Yes. Got that. I think there's another room I haven't been in yet that I left the notes in. But I can't remember which warp goes there. Oh crap. Well, we've already been in here. There's no notes. So we can just exit out of here. Wow. That egg. Okay. That acorn just pops out of the pipe. It's supposed to be the pumpkin, but it changed to the acorn. Which, if you have played or have seen uh, Banjo Kazooie Jiggies of Time mod by Mark Kirko, there is a transformation that looks like the acorn model right here. So. That's what that looks like. Ah, there's a couple. Whoa! Look, can I get those notes? I got one, two, three, three. Can I get the notes? Get out of here, you stupid floatsome idiot. Mumbo token. Any notes up here? No. Okay, let's get out of here. Damn. Ruthless son of a bastard. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. We have 87. Two more notes. But where would they be? Where would they be? Ha! Here they are. Wait. Wait a minute. We have 90 notes. Ow! We have 91 notes. Um, can I get it, please? We have 91. I guess we were both wrong. <laughs> but yeah, there's all the notes. So now we can leave the level. I'm gonna change back into the Baron Bard because there's no detransformation and we'll see what world 
we got that taken over the Mad Monster entrance. We have visited every world though, except Treasure Trove and Rusty Bucket. I hope that Rusty Bucket is not the vanilla area. I hope that it's taken over the entrance to Mad Monster. If so, that would be sweet. If not, then it's gonna be Treasure Trove. So let's see what we got. It's Treasure Trove, of course. <laughs> Holy crap. We got a big honeycomb hide here. Wow. The skybox is pretty nice here. This might be Treasure Trove. There's Bruntilda over there, and you can see that long ass finger. <laughs> Weird. Um, okay. Well, let's break the gate. I have learned from a previous playthrough that if you break the gate here and die, as long as you don't turn off the game, even if you die and then it takes you back to the start screen and you have to enter the file again, as long as you don't turn off the game, that gate will stay open. That is a nice little tip to learn and keep in mind, so. Alright, I was going to stop the recording, so after that, we'll do Treasure Trove. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the randomizer so far, and yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of the randomizer and of all the crap that happened so far. It's ridiculous. It's all over the place, and the duplicate jiggies is interesting, but uh, I'll see you next time for Treasure Trove Cove. Later.